Hey guys, it's Kevin. I'm here at Zebra Robotics location here in San Jose in the Robotics Demo Center. And I'm gonna use the Zebra Robotics solution to induct some totes onto a cart. And then we're gonna send that off to go get picked. And then I'm gonna pick too as well. And then I'm also gonna unload. So I'm gonna go through the entire workflow with you. And I'm gonna show you how their robotic solution is working and how it's reducing the amount of utilization or increasing the amount of utilization on robotics and how this works and how simple it is to use. All right, I'm doing this with minimal training, I will say. I just started today. This is my, my first day on job, all right? So I have my Zebra wearable on, I have my ring scanner on. So Zebra utilizing their other equipment and hardware as well within the workflow paired with a robot. And then we have our cart here as well. So first step is it's asking me to scan an empty cart label. You see that there on the wearable. All right, so I'm gonna scan the cart here. I'm gonna do cart number eight. So I scan my cart and now it's gonna tell me to scan the first shelf, shelf A1. So I go down here, scan my shelf. All right, so I'm gonna get my first tote here and we can see that it's telling me to get a large tote and I'm gonna put it in the first position on that shelf A1 that we scanned previously, all right? So I come over here, grab a large tote, place it down here, and then I'm going to scan that tote. And so my first shelf is complete. So it's gonna tell me now to scan my second shelf, which I'm then gonna load up with totes. So we can see there, scan shelf A2. All right, so I go and scan shelf A2. Now it's registered that I'm going to fill up shelf A2. It's asking me for a medium tote. So I'm gonna place my medium tote here on shelf A2, scan to confirm. Now it's gonna tell me to go to my next shelf with the shelf A3, scan that. And I can also see here on the screen too, from a, a visual representation, you can also see from the size of the boxes as well, the anticipated size of the tote that needs to be placed on the shelf too, as well. So I got one more small tote to put on the shelf, scan and confirm. And now my last shelf, A4 up top, scan that. And then one last small to close out that shelf and the cart itself. So I scan the last one here, and then I see that it's going to give me a message. It says, check loading, then push to spot. So it's giving you further visual indication as well, based on the shelf and giving you a letter for the size, small, medium, large, so that you can verify that you have all the right tote sizes in place. And then when complete, simply press the done loading button. Now I'm gonna scan my cart and assign it to a four spot. So I move my cart over and I'm gonna choose spot three over here. So we have our cart in spot three. One thing too, before we do that, right, and confirm our floor location, we wanna take note too that in the area, we only see carts, right? We don't see any robots around here. There's no robots that are idle standing by which is an important feature of this robotic solution from Zebra because they're trying to increase that utilization. And by doing that, they're reducing idle time or dwell time for those robots waiting for something to happen, right? So those robots are off doing other tasks right now and actually doing work while we're getting work ready for those robots to continue on to the next task, which will be picking. So when I go to scan the cart and then scan that floor code, then the robot will know something is ready. All right, so I scan the cart right here. And then I scan the floor code, which I have on the floor. Very easy. So now it's completed that. I'm done with my task. And now the robot itself will take over from here. <laughs> All 
right, so we just did the induction of the carts. We got the totes onto the carts, and now the robots did all the hard work. They did the heavy lifting. They took the totes and the carts over to the pick locations. So now it's time for me to pick some orders, and we're gonna do that with the robotic solutions right here. So kicking off, we're gonna start picking. It's gonna tell me exactly where to go with my cart here. And I'm gonna go to the location, which is 124-150305. So I'm gonna find my location over here. I'm gonna scan, it's gonna tell me to find and scan the rack. All right, so I'm gonna scan my location. Then it's gonna tell me how much I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick one. So I'm gonna grab one, scan it to confirm I picked it. It's gonna tell me that I've fulfilled one of one and it's gonna tell me where to put it on the cart itself. So when I come over to the cart, it's telling me from a visual indicator and also from descriptor, it's telling me shelf A2 in the first tote position. So I'm gonna find shelf A2, which is here. My first tote position is here. I'm gonna place my item and then I'm gonna scan the tote to confirm that it's in there. And then it's gonna give me my next pick. Now I'm back to my rack here. So I'm gonna scan my location here and it's telling me to pick one item. So I got one item here. I'm gonna scan it to confirm like that. And now it's gonna tell me to go to my cart, place it in shelf A3 in the third position. And we see our first cart that we picked to is on the move, getting ready for additional picks. So shelf A3, third spot, put it in there. Again, that LPN. All right, so I'm done with that cart, right? So it moves on to its next task within the workflow. And now it's telling me to go to the next cart here, which is gonna be down this way. All right, so the picks have been completed and now they're being dropped off at the packout station. All right, so we see that picks were completed in the aisle and then the robot brought the cart over here and we see that the robot drops the cart off, leaves it, and then it's on to do its next task. All right, so we just did the pick right after induction. So we put the totes on the cart then we let the robot take the cart to where it needed to be. And then we put the things in the totes so the robot can then bring it to packing, right? So we see here, so we have carts lined up here. Robots have brought these over. So now they're ready for packing or wherever they need to go. So we're gonna go through the process of unloading the cart and getting the product into the packing workflow. So it's telling me to scan cart and then scan the floor code. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm looking for cart number seven. So I have cart seven here. Scan the cart, scan the spot. So I'm gonna take off all totes and press done. So I take my cart, come over to packing here, take my boxes off, give this packer lots of work to do here. So once you unload the boxes, totes from the cart, give them to your packer, they take over, and then your WMS steps in and you complete simply by clicking done unloading. And that's it. Now you're gonna move empty carts to loading area. And that's it for the Zebra Robotics workflow end to end. So easy to do. I had minimal, minimal training on this, I will say. So you can see how easy it is to walk through on the wearable. It tells you pretty much exactly where you need to be, what you need to do, and where you need to put it. And as we saw too, the robots are there when they need to be there. When they don't need to be there, they're doing work somewhere else, right? So very interesting stuff and a pleasure being here on site with Zebra and great solution. Let us know what you think about it.